Hello, you sexy beast, and welcome back to... Hold on. This isn't War Thunder. Ah yes, contrary to what my uploads history might indicate, I do actually play other games besides just War Thunder. In fact, I actually started out this channel with RuneScape. No, I'm not even kidding. It was really cringy. I didn't even know how to do a 16 by 9 video. There's a good reason all of my older videos are now unlisted, so that no one will ever know my shame. <laughs> I played a lot of different games. I started playing RuneScape 10 years ago, over 10 years ago now, in February 2008, I believe. I have almost a full year of playtime in it. After that I played loads of bad, uh, Battlefield Bad Company 2 and Battlefield 3 on the console, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 1, all those games. It was really pretty where I was playing 10 hours a day. And even now, I still play lots of Cuisine Royale, RuneScape every day, and some Battlefield 1 as well. I, 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 I didn't quite play Battlefield 1 as much as I did with Battlefield 3, for example, but I did quite enjoy it still. In fact, when Battlefield 1 first launched, I was planning on starting to do videos about it making Battlefield 1 videos. Problem is, at launch, the game had some massive issues on my hardware, I just couldn't really record it or play it at all, until I got myself a new processor. And in the meantime, the game kind of flopped, the hype died out, and it was just really not worth it doing any videos on it anymore. And this is what leads me to what you're seeing in the background. The background footage is from the Battlefield 5 Alpha. I did get access to it thanks to a very generous of my uh, Twitter followers. And I I did quite enjoy it, I'm not gonna lie. Now the Alpha of course did have some issues, which we're going to talk about in just a bit. Honestly, I, I really have high hopes for this game, despite the awful marketing. Yeah. I started gaining more traction on YouTube in War Thunder by doing the Blueprints guides, which I haven't done in quite a while now that I think of it. But those were what originally got me more attention. One of them got picked up by the community managers over at Gaijin, got published on their Facebook or Twitter or something like that, and I got like 600 subscribers in the overnight when I had like 50 at the time. That was huge for me and that was really kickstarted my progress on YouTube, because it's really hard trying to get noticed when you're just starting out. Nobody watches your videos. So I'm planning on doing pretty much the same thing for Battlefield 5. Hey, if it worked once, it might as well work multiple times. One of the weapons I'm probably going to start out with is the MP40 you're going to be seeing a lot in the background gameplay. This gun just feels amazing in this game and really awakens the inner Verabu in me. <laughs> This is a machine in Pistole 40! Yeah! And while I didn't really mess at all with the snipers, I did quite enjoy the uh, Sturmgewehr, the rifles, the semi auto rifles, the LMGs as well. The LMG was actually really quite nice. But of course, that was only the, really the gunplay. Um, at least in this alpha, the vehicle play was really kind of awful. It was way too easy to take down tanks. Just a single guy with a panzer that could take down the tank quite easily. Although, I, I do have to admit, I had quite fun in the Panzer IV at longer ranges. There's something about the muzzle velocity. For some reason, the muzzle velocity of the cannon on the Panzer IV was higher than on the Tiger I. And it was actually really quite nice for taking out infantry at longer ranges with the machine gun, with the main gun, and of course tanks at longer ranges as well. Given that Churchill's didn't really have a great time trying to hit me. Speaking of Churchill's and the kill streaks in general, you can have a squad, squad streak system where if your squad gets a certain amount of points, you can call in some stuff like, for example, a V1 bus bomb, which I got a lot of kills in. 
That thing's actually really quite nice, even though it's very situational. But you can also call in some, well, supposedly powerful tanks. On the German side, we have the Sturmtiger, uh, which I didn't get to play myself, actually, but I think Fly Daily did, and he didn't really like it too much because Case made TD, uh, damage was really awful. It fired way too quickly for Sturmtiger and did way too, way too little damage, as if it was firing a 75 or a 50 millimeter, even instead of a 380 millimeter rocket mortar. <laughs> And on the British side we had the Churchill Crocodile, which I really did not like. I, I, I was really excited for having a Flammenwerfer tank. The problem with the Alpha, with the tanks and Alpha was they were very, 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 very vulnerable to infantry attack. Now to make the Churchill Crocodile work, you had to get very close because of the Flammenwerfer, which you didn't even have access to uh, when you were driving it yourself. I think only your um, multi-crew tank, uh, multi-crew co-pilots, co-gunners, I'd say had access to the Flammenwerfers. Problem of course being that, since you only have to get, since you have to get very close to use them, and you're very vulnerable when you get close, you would most often just die and explode and waste your squad streak. Tanks weren't having the only issues though, I noticed quite some issues with the planes as well. I never really liked the plane control in Battlefield 5, or in Battlefield in general, at least on PC. I could deal with it in Battlefield 3 on the PS3, but the joystick is a bit easier to fly around. And I tried to use the joystick in PC as well, but it just just doesn't feel good. After getting used to playing in War Thunder, any other kind of arcade flight control just is vastly inferior. Really what Battlefield did best was the helicopters control in Battlefield, 5, in Battlefield 3. They were just amazing to fly and I got so many kills streaks in those things. Especially with the controller. It was... Oh, you could do amazing, amazing things when you put the time into it. But the helicopters aren't really going to be in this World War II themed game, so I'm not expecting too much. And I'm not really expecting the helicopters in War Thunder to be quite as refined as ones were in Battlefield 3. So, yeah. I really kind of wish that the Battlefield series adopted War Thunder there's aircraft controls. Honestly, it would make it a perfect flying planes versus infantry game, I would say. Although, I believe, I, I have heard this somewhere, don't quote me on this, but I have heard somewhere that uh, War Thunder's flight control system is actually trademarked or copyrighted, so no other game can you really use it, which is a shame. It makes sense, because it, it really is good flight control when you have keyboard and mouse, but I would really like to have it in other games, especially Battlefield. It would be amazing. The gunplay, though, yeah, it's great. I love it. I did learn how to use the Battlefield 1 gunplay, even though it is what most people were complaining about with the random deviation and everything like that. But even though it took me a bit to readjust to the Battlefield 5 gunplay, it, it honestly is vastly superior. With enough skill, you can really do a lot, even with this MP40, which only fires uh, pistol caliber rounds, right? 9x19mm parabellum, I believe. It's an SMG. I was able to out-snipe snipers simply by controlling my fire well and doing some single fire shots or very controlled bursts. And this is really the name of the game for this game. It's learning the weapon behavior, learning the recoil patterns, learning what each gun can do. And that's something that I really liked about Battlefield 3 where I aced every single gun. And I mean every single gun. One of my favorites in that game was the IS Val. Okay, a little bit of attention here. The IS Val essentially in Battlefield 3 was unique in that it didn't have a first shot recoil multiplier, meaning that your first two shots in a burst would pretty much go to the same point. It also had decent damage retention over range and it was suppressed integrally. What this meant is that I mastered the AS Val so, so, so well, I was able to outsnipe snipers at over a kilometer away with an IS Val. <laughs> And this is what I love about shooting games, the games that reward you for practicing and mastering a gun. That's why I love Battlefield 3, that's why I'm kind of really liking Cuisine Royale at the moment as well. Cuisine Royale is a bit clunky, let's be fair, but you can do a lot with the guns when you know how to use them. And that's what I'm really looking forward to when it comes to Battlefield 5 as well. Now, the beta is going to start on the 4th of September for Origin Access, our pre-order, I believe. And uh, September 6th for everyone else. So if you want to play some Battlefield 1, uh, Battlefield 5, sorry about that, I got to use that a lot. If you want to play some Battlefield 5, you can do so then. I believe it should be an open beta, so you can try it out. It will be running until the 11th of September, so you have a full week pretty much to try the thing out. And I'm fully planning on playing every single day. I might even do some streams of it if my performance is good enough, although I really need to upgrade my GPU one of these days. Yeah. I've been waiting for the new uh, NVIDIA GTX RTX 20 series, but 
they're just way too expensive. I'm probably just going to go for a 1080 or something like that if I can, gra if I can grab one cheap. But what I want to know from you in particular, okay, so here's the thing. My audience is primarily War Thunder. All 56,000 of you, or however much number is right now because I haven't really checked in a while, you're here for War Thunder. Of course, it's pretty much the only thing I've been doing for the past three or four years. And I do notice a drop off in views when it comes to other games. I've tried doing videos of Battlefield 1, I've tried doing a video of Fortnite when that game was not popular yet. <laughs> it really flopped. But given that it's kind of in the same theme, given that it is a World War II themed game, I want to know your opinion. Now, this regarding, let, let's just put aside all the fiasco about the SJW stuff and the awful marketing and everything else. Purely talking about the game itself, or the gameplay itself. Would you mind seeing Battlefield 5 on this channel? Would you mind seeing blueprints of weapons guides? Because I really, really love the Battlefield, 5, the Battlefield series and I'm I'm really expecting to love this game as well. And I really hope I'm not going to eat my words in, in a month time or two months time. <laughs> With the game launching and being a complete flop. This is essentially going to be a breakpoint for me. I'm I'm going to try and do something different. I'm going to try and branch out and hopefully not kill my channel in the meantime. So yeah, tell me in the comments down below what you think about Battlefield 5 and what you think about me starting doing videos on it. Now don't don't worry, don't worry. I'm not going to be stopping doing War Thunder videos. In fact, I'm still going to do the same amount of War Thunder videos, so about once a month. <laughs> I am going to be complementing them with Battlefield 5 videos though, so equal videos for everyone. That sounds very Soviet. But in any case, lads, this has been it for this video. Hopefully you weren't too surprised by this. Yeah. Sorry for the clickbait, by the way. It kind of has to be if I want to have you guys' opinion, because else you, <laughs> no one is going to click on a, on a video that's not War Thunder. One last announcement, I am probably streaming sometime soon. Um, today is the 31st of August as I'm recording this and, I, and I'm planning on doing one last stream before the month ends so head over to twitch.tv slash boom and YouTube I believe I don't know what the website is for YouTube but it'll appear in your sub boxes if you are subscribed to the channel so I am going to be streaming today it might even be streaming as this video is live might start a bit later depending on, how, on when I finish the video so tune in it's not going to be Battlefield no no it's going to be War Thunder don't worry but in any case lads my name is Michael Boom, and as always, thank you for watching. You can lift your head up to the sky, take a deeper breath and give it time. You can walk the path among the lines with your shattered frame of mind. Who said you could always stay? We can wait right here and play until somehow you can find.